Just into our newsroom, police have identified the suspect who stole a truck and crashed into a car, killing a 52-year-old woman who's been, and now he's been identified as 23-year-old Cesar Perez. The woman was driving near the Valley Fair Mall when he hit her head on. New specialist Dan Rascone is covering this story and tells us how quickly it all unfolded. Dan? Yes, this is a very tragic case, and it all happened right here along 2400 West. The victim was heading southbound right here, and the suspect fleeing police going northbound. And as a result of this suspect's behavior, we now have a woman who has died, and that's tragic. Tragic aftermath of a head-on collision that quickly unfolded after a man fled police. A 52-year-old innocent woman traveling southbound along 2400 West, hit by a driver who police say just stole his truck. Headed northbound on that road, which is a one-way southbound road. He came into contact with a driver who was coming the opposite direction, hit that vehicle head-on, killing the woman inside of that vehicle. It all started here just across the street near City Hall. Police say at about 9 o'clock in the morning, they came across a man smoking marijuana, and he fled. Investigators say he then stole a Wasatch electric truck in this parking lot, hit one of the workers, and took off. Minutes later, police spotted him across the street near the mall. As they approached the vehicle, not sure if someone was in it or not, um, the suspect did go ahead and start to flee again and rammed into two police vehicles. Police say the suspect continued to flee, and then that's when he turned northbound onto 2400 West, hitting the woman going southbound. The impact rolled the truck. We can't really speculate on why he decided to flee. All we know is that he did decide to flee and took some extremely drastic actions, as you can see. The Wasatch electrical worker did not have to go to the hospital. It's said to be okay and suffering from some road rash and some cuts and bruises. The victim and the suspect's names are not yet being released. I'm Dan Rascone in West Valley City for KSL 5 News.